वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स पार्ट थ्री टूडे सब टॉपिक्स आर ब्लड ह्यूमन ब्लड ग्रुप्स ब्लड डोनेशन एंड ब्लड प्रेशर लेट एस स्टडी ब्लड what blood is made up of blood is a fluid connective tissue oxygenated blood looks deep red in color its taste is salty ph is 7.4 so blood is made up of different blood cells like white blood cell platelets and red blood cells and plasma this is sample of real blood you can see on the left side there is a test tube containing blood and on the right side the blood is after being centrifuged you can see plasma which is a yellow colored clear liquid then a layer of white blood cells and platelets and then a layer of red blood cells so plasma is made up of proteins which are 7% proteins like albumin globulins and fibrinogen each have different function and other elements like blood cells are made up of red blood cell white blood cell and platelets in this plasma is about 55% platelets are very less red, red blood cells are about 41% and white blood cells are about 4% white blood cells are of many types like lymphocyte basophil eosinophil monocyte and neutrophil so in a blood what all is there first is serum then platelet then white blood cell and red blood cells functions of blood are transport of gases nutrient transport waste material transport enzyme and hormones thermoregulation which is maintaining the temperature of the body balance of minerals blood clotting so this is rbc red blood cell and you can see a protein which is antigen a so this is blood group a negative because it is not having rh factor whereas here on this red blood cell there is this white colored protein which is rh so this also has protein which is a antigen and this also has rh factor therefore this becomes a plus positive blood group now here there is antigen b present on the rbc therefore this blood group is b negative now when we have rh factor on the same cell rbc this becomes b positive blood group now here we have both the antibodies we have both the antigens a and b therefore this is a b negative type of blood group here we have b a and rh factor as well therefore this becomes a b positive blood group here we have only rh antigen here we have only rh factor and no antigens like a and b therefore this becomes o positive blood group whereas this rbc does not have rh factor and does not have antigens a and b therefore this becomes o negative blood group now 
नाव ब्लड डोनेशन रक्तदान म्हणजे काय ऑल ऑफ अस नो दॅट वी नीड टू डोनेट ब्लड इन ऑर्डर टू सेव्ह अदर लाईव्ह सच ब्लड इज कलेक्टेड इन ब्लड बँक्स नाव ऑल ऑफ अस कॅनॉट गिव्ह ब्लड टू ऑल द अदर पीपल ईच ऑफ अस हॅव डिफरंट ब्लड ग्रुप सो द डोनर अँड रेसिपियंट हॅज डिफरंट कनेक्शन डोनर इज द वन हू गिव्ह द ब्लड रेसिपियंट रिसीव्ह द ब्लड फ्रॉम द डोनर सो डोनर ऑफ ब्लड ग्रुप ओ कॅन डोनेट टू एनी बडी ही कॅन बी रेसिपियंट कॅन बी हॅविंग ब्लड ग्रुप ओ ए बी ऑर ए बी then blood group a can be donated to only those recipients who have blood group a and ab blood group b can donate to b and ab and blood group ab donor can donate blood only to recipient of blood group ab so now we are going to take blood pressure so basically what is blood pressure when our heart pumps the blood it exerts the pressure on the walls of artery so that is called as blood pressure okay so now i will demonstrate you how to take blood pressure so this is the basic instrument we need for blood pressure so this is the instrument which shows us the range of blood pressure this is the band which we are going to tie around our subject and this is the balloon with which we pump the air into the band so that we get our reading so let's start first so we will fix this band around the subject and now i am going to uh, completely close this knob so that air won't be able to come out of the band and i have a stethoscope which i am going to put here so that i can hear the heart beats and over here i am going to see the readings so i am now pumping the air it's around 160 the normal range of blood pressure is 80 to 120 so we will uh, open this knob and let the air out a little bit so that the pressure is around 120 and we can hear the heart beats okay now i am able to hear the heart beats so i slowly just uh, remove the pressure till the point where i am not able to hear the heart beats okay now they have stopped so i will release all the pressure okay so as you can see i started hearing the heart beats around 120 and uh, i stopped hearing the heart beats around 80 so uh, at to, this is the range of our normal blood pressure so what 80 is the diastolic blood pressure and 120 is the systolic blood pressure we say systolic when the heart is contracting and the contraction force applied on the walls of artery 
is the systolic blood pressure which we got at 120 and AT is called as diastolic when the heart relaxes it puts different pressure on the walls of artery it is lesser than systolic so the AT is the range of diastolic you can hear uh, in this range and if the blood pressure is higher it goes above the 120 and if the blood pressure is lower it can go below 60 so depending upon your uh, blood pressure you are categorized into different parts subtopics for next session are reproductive system thank you